Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home With Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So you guys, okay, so it's been a while since I've done a plan with me. I had a couple of people in my Facebook group, which by the way, if you're not in my Facebook group, there's a link below. There's about almost 7,500 of us in there and we share our love for planning, our love for Fancy Plans Co, okay? So hopefully you'll meet us over there and you can share in the fun with us. So in that group, I had a few of you request me to do a plan with me, which has not been done in years. It's probably been years. I might be I might be exaggerating a little bit. It's been a minute though. So we're gonna do a plan with me, okay? Ask and you shall receive, okay? <laughs> and so I've got all of my supplies here. As you can see, there's a lot going on. My planning has evolved over the years and you're gonna see that today. We don't use all the things anymore, although this does seem like all the things. Trust me, it's not like it used to be, especially if you're an OG, you get it. If you get it, you get it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do today. I have functional pastels, watercolor florals. I've got my book here of sticky notes. I've been really enjoying using sticky notes. So we've got that. I have my highlighters here. I have my toolkit. I've got some Fancy Plans Co doll stickers, which by the way, we will be coming out with some new dolls soon. I've got some gold stickers, boxes from recollections and circles and things like that. And then I have my random sticker book with a bunch of different things in it. All right, so we're doing a plan with me. It's totally happening. So let's get into it. So typically I plan my weeks on Sunday, so I am all planned up for the current week. So I'll let you see how that looks. Of course, we do monthly and weekly planning. So I've done all of my monthly planning for of course the entire month of April. And then in my last video, we did a, a planner little session. I talked to you about monthly planning. So I am planned all up for the month of June as well. And you guys, I was not planning on doing this video today. I just remembered because, you know, the other day, I think on the weekend um, in my group, like I was saying, someone uh, had mentioned doing a plan with me and then other people were chiming in. Yeah, do it. So I'm doing it. <laughs> and so um, I'm all planned up for June for the month, not the weeks. Uh, and then this is the this is the first week of April. And then I didn't plan for the second week. And then we're now, I believe, in the third week, right? Because this is the 15th. Y'all have to look at my phone just to make sure. Because I remember not planning for a week. Because I just kind of just winged it, okay? So this is how that looks. I use stickers from our new collection club box or our new subscription box. We always include a box as an icon. So this was the color scheme for that. So we're going to be planning for the week of the 22nd through the 28th, which is the final week of April, which is crazy. We are using the dashboard layout, which I like to shuffle between the layouts. We have about 18 or so layouts in the shop. I mean, we've got a lot of layouts. So you're sure to find one that you're looking for if you, you've been looking for a little switch up situation. Okay, so I am going to pick a color scheme from watercolor florals because the way that I have it laid out is that there are several pages, I think about five or six pages of one color scheme. And so that way you can stay within that color scheme. And so it's super easy to be able to use this sticker book. So I'm looking for something fun and vibrant. So I think I'm gonna go with this color scheme here. As you can see, I've already started to use some of the stickers. Now, when it comes to my dashboard, I the dashboard layout, I use it a little differently than what you see here. Um, so in this section is typically uh, habits to clean, bills, and then meeting and ministry. So I'll always cover up those boxes first. And some of the information here is just standard information. It doesn't change from week to week. So let's go ahead and cover up the sections and then we'll write in the things that I just mentioned to you. All right, so I thought it would be a cool time to also just kind of chat with you guys. I, I still am doing a sit down video because I feel like I'm fully back now. You know, sometimes it takes a little time. I think I want to be back, but I'm really not back. <laughs> and that's happened to be a couple of times. And I keep telling myself when I come back and I get the momentum, then stop, stop leaving. <laughs> like, why are you leaving? 
to even have to come back, you know? So I'm trying to just not be as busy. I think that's a part of the, the issue is that I'm, I have so many different things going on. And sometimes I feel like I'm a jack of all trade and I'm a jack of all trades and a master of none. Y'all remember that saying? Do people still say that? I, I totally feel like that sometimes. I was talking to my, my friend, Gia from Marriage and Motherhood. You guys probably watch her channel. We meet for lunch every now and then to just talk business and life and stuff just to figure out like, you know, I feel like she's my coworker. <laughs> so we just talk about random things and things that have helped us. And we just try to, um, to motivate each other and encourage each other to keep pushing forward. But I was telling her that, that same thing. I was, you know, just telling her, you know, I just sometimes feel like I'm, I'm not, I'm not focusing on what I need to be focusing on. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm just doing too much of nothing. I mean, I know I'm, I am accomplishing my goals, but sometimes I feel like I'm all over the place. So therefore I'm not mastering anything. <laughs> Does that make sense? So yeah, so she, you know, was talking me through that and, and she's just a great motivator. So that really helped. All right, so I did cover up a couple of are all of those things there. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in what each thing represents. I feel like with the dashboard layout, um, it's just a simple planning system or you know what I mean? The pages are not, there's not too much to it. There's not also a lot of space on the weeks because sometimes I feel like I'm not like super busy. I don't need a bunch of space but I do like having um, a place to put in like standard information. You know what I mean? So, oh, let me pull out my toolkit too because my nails are long, so sometimes it's hard for me to grab the stickers. So I've got scissors in here. I've got an X-Acto knife. I've got the reverse tweezers. I've got my sticky tape, my whiteout, a ruler, and some Sharpies. Um, if you guys are not familiar, we do have all of, not all of this, but a lot of this included in a kit. This comes in it, tweezers come in it, not these. Scissors, um, this comes in it, um, that comes in it, a ruler comes in it, so it's a toolkit. So you could, have, you could be prepared and have everything that you need to plan it out. All right, so I needed, oh, my tweezers. All right. And I don't come, you know, when I start my planning session, I don't have like a plan. You know, a lot of times it's just like, just go for it. You know, I don't always have a plan in mind of what I want to do. It's just, just winging it. All right, so I'm going to switch these sections around because I, I want two green. I want two green here. Usually I put bills here, ministry here. I'm going to switch them. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that in. I better put this here because I have a feeling that if I don't, I'm going to mistakenly write the wrong thing. Okay, you see what I mean? Like sometimes I don't know what I want to do. Okay, so this is going to be meeting and ministry. By the way, I am using emoji pen and 0.7. All right, and then this is gonna be my scripture of the week. All right, and then this is gonna be bills. And usually when I do plan with me's, I don't write in my plans. Just do the sticker work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying some florals. So how do you guys feel like you're doing with your planning? Like, do you feel like you've kind of fallen off? You know, are you staying pretty consistent with your plans? Are you inspired to plan? Are you uninspired to plan? Sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm just not inspired, you know? And then sometimes I also, I also think like, what, what inspires me? <laughs> 
Do you ever go through those slumps and you just like, I don't know how to get myself inspired, you know? And, and at this point, how am I, what am I even inspired by? I go through those times. I don't know if it's weird if I should, should I know all the time what I'm inspired by or like how to get inspired? I, I, I don't, I don't if I'm being honest. And so I think those are the times that I tend to take a break and I say, hey, I just need, I need to figure out why I'm doing this, you know? And I think that that's okay. So, like I mentioned in my previous video on some things that you can do if you do feel like you need a little bit of a break, you know, because I think we all get into a slump. I know I do a lot more than I probably should. Okay, so I'm just adding some florals here to just kind of tie everything all together. I like cutting them in half because me I don't always need a whole full sticker I just need a little bit of something something you know what I mean okay and we also don't want to make it too busy so sometimes I'll go ahead and just put it back okay all right so let's go ahead and write in and I do need some bullet points there too because that's my habits in my habit section I have nine habits that I do daily. All right, let's see what color would go well with this. Thinking that green properly. Yeah, let's go back here, right? Definitely need my tweezers for these. So I still used a lot of stickers, as you can see. It's just that I don't, I only use Fancy Plants Co. pretty much. We just have so many different things that there's really no reason to use anything other than Fancy Plants Co. Unless there's just something that really speaks to me. Like this, these boxes over here that I'm getting ready to use that are gold, that are super gorgeous. You'll, you'll see them when I, when I get ready to use them. But they're so pretty. And I've got them a long time ago from Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one of the hobby stores. And I said I needed nine dots. And y'all, I am such a stickler for symmetry. Like, I, this is about to like totally throw me off because I have nine habits, but I put eight spots. And I hate when it's off too. It just, it just annoys me. But sometimes it's hard to pull that sticker back up and get it where you want it to be. I'm gonna leave off a habit, it's journaling. So I'll write it somewhere else in my planner. You see how I be? <laughs> okay, so this is habits. I hate when that happens, when your pen stops. I had pulled out another pen to use because I noticed that that was happening. All right, and then let's go ahead and write in to clean. And I've got my bills there. So I do wanna look and see what bills I have for this week. I don't think I have many, if I have any at all, to be honest with you. So th that's the week of, we said the 22nd. Yeah, no, 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 actually I do have a, a ton of bills, a ton. Let me look at my finance section. Looks that tells me everything I need to know. All right, so that again is the week of the 22nd, so I've got one, two, three, one. Oh, I don't have a ton. One, two, three. I have three because I want to make sure that I put the appropriate amount of dots there. Okay. And by the way, y'all have to let me know how y'all feel about me being back with all these planner videos. I think what I'm gonna do, and I go back and forth on this, but because I, I think I've tried enough to say that this is just a planner channel. Like, what would you guys say? Would you just say, hey, sis, it, it, it is what it is, and there's nothing wrong with that. Or do you want to keep me to keep trying things? I feel like I tried to do the Amazon stuff, I tried to do the Timu stuff. Those videos do get a lot of views, but I also don't want to mix my viewership up too much. Like, I feel like 
you know, I had, I think I, I had about 80,000 subscribers and then I started to do my little short form videos with my Amazon stuff. And then I gained a hundred, I gained what? A hundred and... 60,000 or almost something like that. Y'all, my math is off. Over 150,000 subscribers from those videos. My stuff was going crazy viral. And so now I feel like you, a lot of you are, are here from that and you just kind of started watching my planner videos. I could be wrong, it could just be my core, the 80,000 that are watching my videos now. And so then, which means the, the other people that came in through the Amazon stuff aren't really watching my long form video. I don't know, that's what I get confused about. Like, do I keep going and, and try to keep exploring different things that are outside of planning and home and organization and just mix it all in? Or do I just say, hey, just stick with this. Um, I don't know, I, I go back and forth between what to do with that. So, and I'm just talking out loud. My plan with me is tend to be just that. I'm writing in my bills, y'all. It's me just, talking out loud with you guys just to, to see what your thoughts are on certain things. I know I said I wasn't gonna write in anything, but I decided, I changed my mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and write it in. Since I'm here, I'm not gonna write everything in, but I'm gonna write my bills in. Okay, so I would write in all of my habits. I would write in my stuff I'm cleaning, which actually now that I'm thinking about it, I may do. Down here, I put random stuff, to-do list, things like that, and then um, I might put a quote or two down there. Okay, so now that we're done with this page, which looks gorgeous, by the way, we're gonna move on to the weekly spread. So up here, I always do the menu for the week. Okay, so if you're new here, I love to cook. We, I cook three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The other days of the week are leftovers from the previous day. Oh, I did wanna use my gold boxes, you guys. I just said I wanted to use my gold boxes. But if I don't, I can't not use them on this side if I use them on this side, right? I have to use them on, but look at them. They're like actual shimmery textured gold. And I really wanted to use them. Oh man, we'll probably have to use them next time. Let me just pull one off the sheet to see if I placed it. Would it even make sense? We'll save it for next time. I think that would be forcing it. All right, so let's work on this page and go back to the same color scheme. Okay. I think I'm gonna lay this one down. Let me go back to I want to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything on my monthly calendar. Okay, so I typically like these two to look the same, and then this one and this one to look the same. So these two, these two, and then these two. Like these three. Does that make sense? <laughs> I just did a whole lot. Okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and put these down. Should I switch it up? No, I'm not gonna switch it up. Cause that'll throw me off. All right. And then let's just put See, I do that a lot too. You guys do that? Like you don't you don't lay it down yet until you know that that's where you want it to be. get some solid boxes. I didn't add any purple on this side. Well, yeah, there's a little purple over there. Purple isn't typically a color that I go for. Not that I dislike purple. I typically go for the neutral colors. Remember we, we talked about that and how much I love neutral colors, but two, one, two, see? See this symmetry thing? Everything has to be symmetrical. Okay, so I would do something like that. And then I would do, let's see. Let's do this.
Let's start adding some bullet points. Now, sometimes y'all, just to be honest, I don't know yet what I'm gonna put in these boxes, but I put them there because I know something is gonna go in those boxes, but I don't plan for what it's gonna be. And typically I know how many things I have to plan for that day, but sometimes I'll reference my calendar just to see. But it's typically two to three things, like major things, because this isn't like all my routines and things like that. This is just like the main things that I have to do for that day if that makes sense, or where I have to go for that day. All right. By the way, if you missed it th this morning, my husband went live. He's gonna be going live every Monday on either, we did, he went live on TikTok today. I'm not sure if we'll go back live on TikTok. I don't feel like that's where our people are. I feel like our people are here on um, on Facebook. I mean, Facebook, what am I talking about? Are here on um, YouTube or are on in our Facebook group um, or on Instagram. I mean, our audience is building up quite nicely on TikTok, but that's not where the majority of our people are. So we're just testing it out to see, and that's why we just went live on TikTok today, but. I'm not sure if we'll continue going live on TikTok or if we're gonna go on to another platform to see, you know, what works. Because we definitely wanna be where the people are. And we, I feel like TikTok for us is like a lot of new. It's not our core people who have been here, you know, since the beginning or even, you know, midway through our journey. So stay tuned for next week. We announce it in our Facebook group. So that way you know that we're live. Those are so cute. Okay. Oh, and then these, this is awesome too because they have the dates there. So I can go ahead and date this thing up. And I'm gonna add some more floral elements. I feel like this is a super easy layout to work with. That's why I love it. But y'all may see me with a whole different layout next month. Because that's just how I roll. You know, it just depends on how I feel. And what I feel is working for me at that moment. And sometimes, like, you know, dash dashboard layout may not be working for me anymore. Based on what I'm doing. And how much I have going on. So then I'll switch it to something else. Oh my gosh. Okay. I couldn't pick that up for some reason. So, and then I also like to keep things fresh. So that's one, another reason why I switch my layouts. And then I also like to show you guys how to use the layouts. I'm going to be doing a video this week on the block schedule layout. I know, I mean, some of y'all OGs may remember when I was using the block schedule layout. Um, I was looking in one of the groups and I saw that somebody had gotten it and they were confused with how to use it. So I said, let me just do, I, I think it would be a good idea to do a video on how to use that layout. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll do that sometime this week and we'll see if that helps. And then you never know, maybe I may say, hey, let me start using that layout again. You never know. All right, so we are just about done. I do wanna add a few more floral elements to it. And then I think we're good to go. This is a rarely used sticker book for me because I forgot we had it, <laughs> which is crazy because I remember when I was creating it and how excited I was. So like, how am I gonna forget about it? Like, that's weird. So I said, let me pull this baby out because I'm so used to the functional pastels because of all the boxes that everybody loves boxes, you know? Isn't that so gorgeous? I love that. And so sometimes I forget that I have this layout as well and it's just as beautiful. That's that one. All right, so let's put this last little sticker in. All right, because I feel like there's a fine line between disaster and beauty. <laughs> 
So sometimes it's like that one last little sticker is what put you over the edge and now it's tragic, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and write in all of my habits, one being water intake. So I'm gonna write water. And you guys will have to let me know if you enjoy my or miss my plan with me's and I'll incorporate them back into the lineup, okay? Because I plan my videos out every Sunday. I try to do three a week and um, I can make it four and that could be the plan with me. Cause I try to do a lot of um, evergreen content. And if you're not familiar with what that is, it's just content that really doesn't expire. It really doesn't go out of style. People are always doing searches for it. It's just timeless content. Okay, skincare, vitamins, Um, I'm missing one. Water intake, read 20 minutes. Oh, make my bed. All right. And then I'll go ahead and write my cleaning in. Why not? So if you guys don't know, I do zone cleaning. But I have some other things that need to be done this week. So I'll put those on here as well. Okay, master. Stairs hall. Hall. Okay, then outdoor car garage. And I try to make them in the same, or like around the same area of the house to make it easier so I'm not like going upstairs and then running downstairs, you know what I mean? Okay, then dining room and office. Cause they're right across from each other. Cause they should be in zones. First floor bath, bath is next to the laundry room. Okay, and then Addison's room, which she typically does, but I do oversee sometimes. And then the kitchen, and then my husband's office. All right, there you go. So that's how that would look. And then if I have like random to-do list stuff, I'll put it down here at the bottom. So I'm not gonna write anything there. And then my meeting and ministry will be my scripture of the week. And then any people that need to be checked on, like are having some issues. Like I had a friend that just had a car accident. So I will put her on here so I could check in with her, make sure she's okay. All right. Even though I have already been doing that, I like to just, you know, make sure I'm checking in. I do have my highlighters here. So I wanted to use this to highlight menu. All right. And sometimes I do like to do a couple here and there of highlighting you know what I mean just to spruce it up a little bit all right and there's really nothing else to write in I mean there is other things to write in but this was really just a, a decorate with me I guess are they calling them decorate with me's now or are they still calling them plan with me's even though they're not writing in their plans I know I used to call it plan with me and I still do even though sometimes there's not a stitch of plans on here I'm just, I mean, there is eventually, but I'm trying to see if I wanted to include a doll, you guys. That's what I'm over here doing. I'm trying to see. Oh, that she's cute. Nah, I think I got, remember I said you're one sticker away from disaster. We don't want this to be a disaster, so let's stop here. All right, so that is the plan with me for today. It was really cool rambling with you guys, because that's really all I did was just ramble and, and just share with you random thoughts. <laughs> Things that are going inside my head and just catching up with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Addison is home now. She just got in from off the bus and she's gonna want my undivided attention. So, hey girlfriend, what's that? Lovely. Are those for little old me? Yeah, <laughs> just don't give it to me back. Ooh, just don't give it to you back, sis. Hey, that's what you always Ooh, do. not the shade. Those are beautiful. You see my flowers? Look, they go with my spread, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. Thanks, boo. You're I'll welcome. put them in some water, okay? Okay. All right, you had a good day? Yeah. Girl, you be coming home looking like you got in a fight, sis. You you got in a fight? No. <laughs> Why your hair look like that? No reason. Oh, my gosh. I be playing outside. You be playing rough and tough, huh? Uh-huh, but I will fight if I have Ooh, to. Woo, but... sis. <laughs>
All right. Thanks guys so much for joining me for today's video. Again, let me know below. You want me to keep this going? Cause sis could keep it going now. Okay. So if you enjoyed it, drop me a comment. Let me know that you want me to do another one and we'll incorporate it into the lineup for next week. So this is the final week. I would stop here. So I totally wouldn't use this last little page. If you guys aren't familiar, we include five weeks within each month. So you have that extra week because I technically could start here if I wanted because we're ending on the 28th, but there's still two more days in the month. But I don't like to do that. I like to start fresh in the actual next month. So May is our, look at May. May is looking good. Filled all the way up. So that way when I get ready to plan, I have my monthly spread. I could just pull from that. It's accurate. And then I can go to town with my weekly spreads. So things are looking quite good. So this is the final turnout. And then this is the current week once again, and then that first week. So planning is a little bit different for me now, right? I mean, I still use all the stickers, but sometimes I don't. Like in my business and social planner, I just write on the page. I don't have time to be using all them stickers. I do use a uh, sticky notes at the top to indicate the short form video that we're doing for that week. But other than that, y'all, I use a highlighter and my pen, and that's just what works for me. So planning looks different for me from week to week, and that is a-okay. So that's it, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you did too, which means you'll give me a thumbs up. I also hope that if you're new here, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, I would love for you to come back and join me for another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.